Now we're talking! Whose car is that? Don't worry, ma'am. I'm coming around. Here you are. Watch your step. Ugh. <sighs> that ride took forever. I'd be honored if you took a flyer! Go! What is this? An invite to a drawing contest? No! Why does there have to be wind anyway? There's nothing in here. Ooh! What's this? A drawing contest? Ugh. Thanks. Give me that. Now look what you've done. Looks like they're both going. Okay. Are we ready for some drawing? Let's warm up with a rainbow. A rainbow, huh? That's one heck of a warm-up. Hmm. I know! My bag of stuff can finally come in handy! Let's see… Oh! Hmm. Aw, hey, little guy! Oh! No! <laughs> Aw, good boy. Here's what I was looking for. Ready for some magic? Watch these colors turn into a whole rainbow. Just gotta make a few blobs. There. Done! Well, almost. Nice! Let's put this thing to work! Is this satisfying or what? It's all about working with what you've got, people! There! Ooh, that's a little messy. Now peel off all the tape. Nothing like a clean, smooth line. Well, make that three smooth lines. Ah, done! Thanks for the help! Pretty impressive, isn't it? I guess it's fine. I got this. Hello? Do I have to do it all myself? So pretty. Go! I need space to get creative here. Interesting. Haha. <laughs> Obviously. Everybody you watch and learn. It's pretty with all the colors, isn't it? Just wait till you see what's next. See? I get to work sometimes. And once that's all finished, you're left with gorgeous rainbow sand. Look at those vibrant hues. Ta-da! That was actually pretty awesome. Oh, I'm definitely not done yet. It's like a little dancing rainbow guy. Gives it a little personality, don't you think? Well? They're both interesting. Which is why you're both winners! Uh, that's fine. Um, is he gonna give us our challenge or what? Uh-huh. Oh! Gadget! Got it? A gadget, huh? Oh, say no more. I know just the guy. <laughs> Aw, there it is! He's so cute, right? But I can make some adjustments. That's good. Now let's get to work, shall we? And start! Yes, will do. Am I seeing what I think I am? Yep, he's pretty awesome. I know. Now draw away, little guy. But since every artist needs a little inspo, here's yours. Think you can handle a little kitty? No problem. You can always depend on this thing to make the perfect circle. Recognize this thing yet? Just give him a minute, he'll get there. Look at all those perfect lines! What on earth? I don't approve! Can robots even make real art? Looks like it. Ah! Chew! Looks about done! And needless to say, it's perfect. See? Well, two can play this game. I just need the right shapes. Let's see here. Just a little bit of assembly. And there.
just a piece of plastic and a picture on your phone. And poof! You can trace it! Pretty inventive, isn't it? Being resourceful always works out. Almost done! He's turning out pretty cute! I think… <laughs> Lame! So, who wins? For obvious reasons, Naomi! No way! Turns out being creative is the way to go! Stupid robot! You belong in the garbage bin! You hear that?! No. You. Are. The. Garbage. <sighs> what? You drew something for me? <laughs> is this supposed to be funny? Technology has <laughs> failed me today! Well, now what? Hello up there? Oh, of course. The next round is origami. Phew! Origami? Okay. Good thing I carry paper with me at all times. Just kidding, my butler gave it to me. I prefer paper that's actually worth something. And gold's even better. Here you go. Whoa. Is that real? I'd better get to work. All right, here goes nothing. Things are getting hot in here. Whoa! It turned to gold! But why stop there? In you go! Phew! Oh gosh! Yep, it definitely worked! Fantastic! Mwah! Miss Betty? Thanks, chef. That's so unfair! I wonder if I have some paper lying around. It's not gold, but it'll do. Ready to witness some magic, guys? Yikes. That paper is so wrinkled. Hilarious, I know. But I can turn things around. Just can't leave it on too long. Good as new! Whatever. I've got other things to worry about. Just a few careful folds, and this will look anything like a piece of paper. Now just draw a couple of marks here. It looks strange now, but it'll all make sense at the end. Recognize it yet? It's only the prettiest girl in the world! Huh? Just be patient, will you? I just have a few more lines here. Now for the same thing on this side. Just keep folding flats up and drawing in the blanks. There. All done. If you say <laughs> so. Color, please. Now she can dance. See? I can make all her limbs move. <gasps> I can't compete with that! Or can I? Just make a fold up top, and again in the other direction. And keep going all the way down. Then draw a straight line here. Then keep it going down this way. Then close it so it's a square. Can you tell what it is yet? And in here, draw a little bunny! How cute is this thing, come on! And he needs a little bear friend. Adorable, right? Don't forget to color things in. Orange and blue always pop. Now for our animal friends. The colors really bring them alive. One last thing. Then fold the paper down. Ta-da! All done! This is tough. But that ballerina… You win! Well, what about my cute creation? I'm so excited for class. I'm not. It's test time. 
I love tests, especially when it's art. Ooh, Claire's keen. I'll do a self-portrait. I'll start with the outline, and then I'll color it in. I'll draw at different angles to give the hair texture. This is gonna be so good! This color is perfect for skin tone! Then I'll add details to the clothes. I'll use a white pen to color the eyes. It just makes it look better. Can you do me? Of course I can! Don't move! I'll just follow the same process. I've really nailed the hair. Now it's time to color it in. You're gonna be so happy with this, Leo! It'll be like looking in a mirror! I'll give you some colorful clothes. This is making me happy! Almost done! There you go! Whoa, I love it! Huh? They're ours! Stay back! What? What are you doing? No! You're tearing it! What have you done? What? What's happening? Ugh, sorry, you scared me. It's a drawing challenge. Okay. You really suit that look, Claire. I love your lipstick. I could watch you all day. Uh, are you feeling okay? Hmm. You want us to do something symmetrical? I need to impress Claire. How's this for a makeover? You look weird. Oh, I have an idea. Look at that. It's given me a great idea. I'll need these scissors. I'll fold a piece of paper. And then cut a small section from it. I'll fold the paper over and start drawing. I'm gonna draw a blue monster. But I wanna do it over the fold. Now I'll open the paper up. And I'll draw in the blank space. I'm gonna draw a human face. Then the body. I'll add some small details. Just like this. Now for the fun part. This is gonna be like the inside of the head. I want it to look like he's stretching. I'll obviously need blue ink. And then flesh-colored ink. I'll use yellow for the crown. This is looking great. I just need to color the last few parts. And I'm finished. If I fold the paper over, it looks like a normal drawing. But it's hiding a surprise. Okay, it's my turn. I'm gonna fold the paper over. And I'll draw a love heart. Then I can color it in. I'm using red, obviously. I just need to stay in the lines. Hmm, these gloves feel nice. Once that's done, I can open the paper up. I've sketched a cute couple kissing inside. I like to pretend it's Claire and me. I'll go over the pencil with black ink. I just need to follow the lines. Then I'll add color. I'll give the girl black hair. It's supposed to be Claire, after all. I hope she takes the hint. I want it to be perfect. This will be my love letter to her. It looks just like us. Look how happy we are. I'm such a romantic at heart. I can't forget about the mini love heart. That's it! It's so adorable! Just like Claire. It makes me all warm and fuzzy inside. Look what I've got. Watch this, Claire. I think I'm gonna throw up. Maybe we could reenact it sometime? Have a look at this. Aw, that's nice. Ah! Make it stop! Phew, it's over. Ah! I could do this all day. See? Even Thing is laughing. Okay, that's enough. Why? Why would you do that? Come on, I've gotta win! Wait. <laughs> look! I won! Seriously? You got a problem with that? Look, Claire. I think they're falling in love. It's beautiful. I hate it. Wait, something's happening! He got dumped. Ooh, a free flower! It smells amazing! Like a summer's meadow. Is this the next challenge? Claire, I want you to have this. Get it out of here. Not a fan of flowers, huh? Only when they're on a grave. Now can I get on with my drawing? She loves me. She loves me not. She loves me. She loves me not. 
Can you keep it down? I think I'll start with a love heart. Then I'll draw triangles inside. Then I'll draw a loop around the bottom of the heart. It's transformed into a rose. Now I'll draw the leaves. And finally, the stem. I'll use a pencil to add shading. But this rose isn't gonna be red or pink. It's gonna be black. It's the best color. I'll apply more pressure when coloring the outer petals. This will make them darker. She loves me not! Wait. She loves me! It's a sign from the universe. We're supposed to be together. Wow. That gives me an idea. I'll be right back. She loves me not. She loves me! I want that rose! True love depends on it! Wow! Take it, buddy. This is just what I need. And this is what I need. Woohoo! Okay. Just relax. Ahem. <clears throat> Claire? What is it now? This is for you. Hmm. Let me see it. It's pretty. She likes it! Mmm. Ah, nom, 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 nom. Mm, delicious. I'm done with this. Uh, okay. You wanna see our drawings? Here you go. It's black. Like my heart. I didn't do anything. I guess that's fair. Meh. Like I care. Kiss me, Claire! Never give up. Get out of here. Aw, you're mean. What's it doing? I'm so confused. I think it's supposed to be a shadow puppet. Ooh, I love those! It's tragic. That's what it is. Nope. It's not any clearer. It's a dog. Why didn't you say so? Hey, Claire, look! Trick shot! Pretty cool, huh? I know she's impressed. I'm really not. Let's get this over with. What's he doing? I'm gonna draw around my hand! Please stop talking. I'll show you. I'll place my hand on the paper like this. Then I'll draw around it. It won't look much to begin with, but just wait until I add the details. I'll start with an eye. And then a cute little nose. I'll fill it in black. And I'll do the same with the other eye. And I'll do the same with the eye. I'll leave a small white dot. That'll be the light reflection. Then it's time for the fur. And it'll need a collar. We don't want it getting lost. Please stop singing. I'll only sing louder! It's so bad. Drawing a little doggy. I can't take it anymore. You're making me so mad. I'll crush you. Each note is piercing my brain. Make it stop! Ugh. Look at what you've made me do. Hold on. I think I can work with this. I'll start by spreading the chalk dust out. You know, that feels good. It's pretty soothing. I can feel the tension melting away. I'll draw an upside-down love heart, then two small circles, and a triangle. It's already looking like a dog. These will be the ears. I'll give my dog brown fur. This is the easy part. I just need to stay within the lines. I wish every drawing could be like this. It's almost done. Now for a big red tongue. I wish I had a dog. It would be my best friend. We could go for walks all the time. I better focus on what I'm doing. I think I'm done! It looks pretty good. No, it doesn't. Come on. I have to win this round. I used my hand as a template. Can you see the resemblance? I can't pick mine up. Yes! I won! I'm the greatest! Nah, nah. Don't push it, Leo. Oops, sorry. Ugh, I'm so angry. What's next? What do you think it is? Sorry for asking. Look, a pretty butterfly. Wow, it's so magical. I wish there was a spider web. Something's about to happen. Thing is catching the butterfly. Is it okay? I hope not. So we've to draw a butterfly? It's so exciting! Stop it. Let's go! I think that's my paper. Huh? Oh, okay. Come on, hand it over. What? No swapping? Listen to the hand. You don't want to mess with it. Hmm. I have an idea. I have a butterfly stencil! Whatever. I'll need my chalk. I'll use the knife to create shavings. And I mix up the colors. I'll work my way across the page. I'll make a rough outline initially. I know this is a little bright and colorful for me, but it'll be over soon. This is the last color I need. 
Now I need to get my finger dirty. I'll smudge the chalk dust and start to create a butterfly. Then I'll place the stencil on top. That looks about right. Did you really think I wouldn't use black in this drawing? I'll shave the chalk over the stencil. I'll cover the whole page with it. Then I'll smudge it with my finger. It's gonna give a great effect. I'll take my time around the stencil. I'll use my other hand to hold it in place. I don't want to ruin it now. Now I can remove the stencil. But I'm not finished yet. I'll draw something inside the butterfly. It's a tranquil landscape. My turn! I'll place the stencil on the paper. And then I'll draw lines with chalk. I'll work in sections. And then switch colors. I'll do this all the way around. It's gonna look great! I'll go over the chalk. I want it to look so vibrant. I'll hold on the stencil the whole time. One slip and my drawing's ruined. Now I can remove the stencil. Look, it's flying away! It can go here. Now I'll draw a dotted line in the blank space. It'll be the trail of the butterfly. It's so colorful. Just like a butterfly. Here's my drawing. You better like it. Look, Claire! It's a tie! We're both winners! That makes me so happy! Whoa! Look at that! Beat it! I'll repel you with my dance moves! Ooh, nice moves, Claire! I guess we're creating a rainbow. I love rainbows! Nope. That's not gonna happen. Anything but that. I can't wait to get started. I'll need my gloves. Things are gonna get messy. I'm gonna keep it simple. Huh? Why are you so animated? What's wrong with a black pen? Get out of the way! I mean it! Stop it! This is getting annoying! You're gonna regret this. I didn't want to do this. But it's your own fault. Don't look at me like that. I warned you. Maybe I can get started now. I'll draw a large cloud. That's just what I want. Now I'll hold it above my head. Ah. That's good. I'm gonna enjoy this. I'll cover the page with different colored paint. Then I'll take this love heart puppet. And I'll press it into the paint. I want to make sure it's covered. Then I'll peel it off. Now I can place it onto the canvas. I've covered the canvas in tape, except for the heart. I don't want to mess it up. Now I can lift it off. It's good, but it's not finished. I'll run a brush over it. Wow! Look at that! It gives a great effect! I'll do the rest. I've dipped a toothbrush in white paint. I'll flick it over the heart. Next, I'll dip the base of a glass in white paint. And I'll press a glass in the center. Once it's dry, I can paint a tree on it. Hmm. I'll add some birds. It definitely needed something else. Now I can finish the tree. I'll use the toothbrush for this. It gives the impression of leaves. It's done! I can peel the tape off the canvas. Wow. This is a work of art. I love it! Uh, do you need an umbrella? I'm not finished. That's more like it. You need help. Pick me! Yes! I knew it! I win! Look, Claire. Ow! Well, I better get ready for class. Whoa! This is so cool! Hmm. What hairstyle should we choose? Not green. I think I know! We'll go for number three! Ugh. What is that supposed to be? Let go! It's mine! I want to see it! Whoa! What happened? You're finally here at last. Welcome to the art challenge! I guess we better get started. First up, we have… Drum roll, please! A rainbow! Wow! I love rainbows! Let's just get on with this. I need something for my bag. Ooh, I'll check my bag. What have I got? That's your bag? Aha! I can use it for my drawing. Hey, I forgot I had this. Mmm, it still smells good. Are you kidding me? I'm gonna throw up. Eh, I'm just messing. I just need a pen. A diamond encrusted pen, of course. Ugh, where did this come from? Mmm, that gives me an idea. Hey, Kendall! Get it away from me! Ugh, so gross. Okay, I'll start by folding the paper. I'll place the pencil tin on it and use it to draw a circle. Then I'll draw a face on it. I'll start with the eyes. 
I'll split the smile over the fold. What a lovely smile. Now I'll open the paper up. I'll use my money as a ruler. I'll join up the face. Then it's time to add some color. I want it to be as bright as possible. And I'll draw a rainbow inside the mouth. Now I can fold the paper back over. It looks great! Check it out! It's pretty good, huh? Wow! My jaw is dropping! Brittany hasn't even started yet. There must be something I can use. Oh hey, I found my old chalk. I can definitely use this. I just need my trusty hammer. I'll quickly make a butterfly stencil. I'll place it on a sheet of black card. Next, I'll put the chalk on it. And then, it's bashing time! Oh yeah, that feels good! This really works out my tension. Now I can remove the stencil. I'm left with a beautiful butterfly. Excellent work, girls! I know! It's such a tough decision, but Brittany wins! Really? Wow, thanks! Ugh, that's so unfair! Hey, I like your drawing. Hey, romance is in the air! Here's your next challenge. It's a love heart. And to inspire you, I have a special guest. Take a look over there. Hello, ladies. I call this my smoldering look. Gee, I'm so glad I brought that wind machine. Ah, he's cute. Hey, I saw him first. Nuh-uh. I need to win this round. I'll have to create something special. Give me the love hearts. I want more. I'm going as fast as I can. I'm not good under pressure. Here you go. This is just what I need. Brian is so dreamy. We'd be so happy together. Okay, let's do this. I'll start with a romantic message. I think that says exactly how I feel. Now I'll go around it with a gold pen. I'll add some stars. I wrote messages on the other hearts. Hmm, I think I'll choose this one. I'll fold the sides. And press them down to create a crease. Now I'll fold the top over. It makes a small envelope. I'll use a sticker to seal it. I'll put it with the rest. It's a little collection of love letters. It makes the cutest key ring. Whoa, that's pretty good. Hmm, this might be tougher than I thought. I'm struggling to think of something. Okay, here goes. I'll draw a love heart. But it's not a conventional love heart. It's different, but it looks good. Hello there. I'm loving the hobo look. And this drawing? Say magnifique. A rose for a rose. Wow, such a gentleman. And what's this? Is that for me? Beautiful and talented. What a combo. I have something for you. Chill, my heart! Yeah, I get that reaction a lot. Ahem. Anything for me? Be quiet, this is my time! This is handy. Just a little joke. The next challenge is… A brush. Uh, where's Brittany? Don't look at me. Whatever. Let's start without her. Go ahead. This should be easy. Hello, I want an order. What great service. I love shopping. It's my favorite hobby. Okay, let's get this out of the box. How did it even fit in here? Ugh, it's heavy. But it's perfect. I don't need this box anymore. Sorry I'm late. <laughs> oh my gosh, is that toilet paper? Huh? What are you talking about? Oh, right. Oops. Well, that was embarrassing. So what did I miss? Wait. I just need to do something. <laughs> Please stop. Oh yeah, that feels good. Oh, I can use this. I don't need a paintbrush. I'll snap it in half. Then I'll roll it in toilet paper. I want to keep it nice and tight. Next, I'll wrap it in green plastic. Just like this. Once that's done, I need a sticker. This will hold it in place. It looks good. I'll place it into this clear tube. I think it's ready. I'll dip the first swab into pink paint. It matches the color of the plastic. And then I'll brush it onto the paper. When I'm done with that color, I just swap the swabs around. It's time for some blue. I'll let the paint absorb into the swab. And I can get back to creating my art. What the? So it's like that, is it? You ain't seen anything yet. I have big plans. I'm about to create a masterpiece. I'm finished! Uh… What? Why would you do that? You lose! 
come on! The brush slipped! Sorry, gotta keep my potassium levels up. This is the next challenge. All this work is making me hungry. Get me something to eat. Ooh, this is more like it. It all looks so delicious. What should I try first? Whoa, that does look good. I want it. Get your grubby hands off it. I don't want you touching my food. Come on, you won't eat all of it. Fine, I'll give you an egg. Catch. Whoa, easy. Don't drop it. Phew, that was close. Thanks for this. I'll crack the egg into a bowl. I want to keep the yolk separate. I'll put that in another bowl. I'll use my fingers to break it. Hmm, it feels all slimy. Next, I'll add a small amount of oil. Just a little more. Now I can stir it. Next, I'll fill a syringe with the mixture. It makes it easier to work with. And it's not as messy. I'll add the egg mixture to powdered paint. I don't need a lot. Just a few drops. I'll use a brush to mix the egg and paint together. That looks about right. Now I'll take the eggshell and crush it slightly. I want to break it into small pieces. I'll take this piece of the shell and I'll paint it blue. I love this color. I've drawn a vase and I'll stick the shell onto it. Then I'll add flowers. Mmm, I couldn't eat another bite. Wait, maybe I eat too much? Whoa! Oops, my bad. Better out than in. I don't want to waste any food. Hmm, maybe I can create something with it. I've painted a sheet of card blue. And I'll use the broccoli as a brush. I'll dab paint over the paper. I'll use different colors. It gives an amazing leaf effect. Check it out! Ooh, that's pretty! I love it! Very creative! How do I decide? It's tough, but Kendall wins! Yes! I'm the greatest! Okay, take it easy, Picasso! Whee! Look at it go! Take a look at your next challenge! How exciting! Are you kidding? I've no idea what we're supposed to do with that. Aw, there's a loose thread on my shirt. There's another one. That's all I need. Hmm, maybe these might come in useful. Ooh, makeup. Maybe Kendall won't notice. This is my chance. Just act natural. Nothing to see here. The perfect crime. I'll cover the thread in string. Then I'll put it on my notebook. I'll arrange it in a wave pattern. Then I'll close the notebook over. I'll pull the thread. It leaves behind an abstract painting. It looks great! Wow, that's actually quite impressive. Wait, Brittany. Yes? Oh, uh, how did that get there? Keep it. I'll use this brush. I'll paint my canvas black. But I'll stop halfway. Then I'll apply a line of glue. I'll brush the glue over the black paint and the blank canvas. Just like this. Before it sets, I'll sprinkle glitter over it. I need to be quick. Phew, this is hard work. Huh? Is that gold? That'll look great on my painting. Even my dandruff is rich. I should buy better shampoo, though. I'll place a heart stencil onto the canvas. And grab a can of spray paint. I'll go over the stencil with it. It's so vibrant! I'll carefully remove the stencil. Wow, I'd hang that on my wall. It's good, isn't it? Oh yeah, wait until you see this. Whoa! My eyes! I can't see! Put it down! That's better. Wow, it's wonderful! It is pretty special. Give me a warning next time. Whoa, look at all this stuff. That's the end of the challenge. It's time to announce the winner. Me, me, pick me! I'm so nervous. Who will it be? It's Kendall! I don't believe it! I've tried my best. Well done. Hmm. Wait. We should share the prizes. Really? You mean it? Woohoo! Uh, I'm not really a hugging person. It's so beautiful. Art is the real winner. What would make regular stuff way cooler? A pop of color, of course. And with the right paint on hand, you can create some serious masterpieces. Who knows? You may create the next Mona Lisa. Or at least a really cool looking laptop case. Ready to put on your artist hat? Hmm. Hey, what's that? How did that even get in here? Look! That's one beautiful deer! Just look at that thing, Jennifer! 
That really is something, huh? It's standing? Let's get to work, huh? Just gotta get the right line started. These angles are funky. Ugh, hopeless. I need something more substantial. Bingo! Now I can get the perfect measurements. BRB! Where are you going? <sighs> Whatever. Time to get up close and personal. Uh-huh. Looking good. Interesting. Now I know what to do. Let's hit the drawing board. Always start with the black paint. Ugh. It's out already? Ugh. This is ridiculous! Gah! Jennifer! You just ruined my entire piece! That's the least of my worries now. Man! Just look at this mess! Oh, I guess I'll start over. Unless… I can use this technique to my advantage. Think this looks too dark? It won't for long. Just blot the paint right onto the picture. Now lift up this layer. Then work on the space above. Two colors are always better than one. Cool, right? Now let's bring in the big guns. Use the brush to flick the paint outwards. It gives a really cool effect, see? Almost done. Run the brush over the trees, too. Even a toothbrush can do some magic. A few skillful flicks are all it takes. Cool! Now peel off this first layer here. And you've got yourself a nighttime forest scene. Isn't it magical? Check mine out! <gasps> How'd you do all that? Well, the winner's clear this round. Well done, Wendy. I really gotta work on my brush technique. Harder strokes, come on! <sighs> anyway… <sighs> okay… Isn't this evening just beautiful? Hey look! Real artists! Hi! Isn't that the cutest couple ever? Uh, if you like that mushy stuff… I love you so much, honey. I feel inspired. I want to transfer this love onto the page. Uh-huh. There. Could these subjects be more boring? I prefer to follow my own heart. One glob of paint at a time. This way, the colors get mixed for me. And you can have fun with the lines. Here comes the color. There! Almost finished with the dots. Now crumble up some aluminum foil and use it to blot the wet paint. This gives it some nice texture. See what I mean? Then go in with the brush and do a little polishing up. What's an outdoor scene without a good tree? Just try not to be too heavy-handed. More blotting. There! Doesn't this look awesome? But we've still got more to do. This color mixing makes it look less rigid. But it could still use a little refinement. See? There are lovers in here. They're just not the main focus. Nice! Now for some rain. Because that's ever so romantic. Ta-da! Is this romantic enough? Mine sure is! How about yours? Eh. Could be better. Do you like it? Wow! That deserves to go in a museum! Really? Guess that makes me the winner! Good job, Jen! Come here! Please? I guess you can have it. It's us, sweetie pie! Ciao! Here I go! Ugh. Shoot, I missed! Here, let me try. Ugh. Boo, I missed two. Just gotta aim. It really shouldn't be this hard to get one in. Whoa, what the heck? Look what it's doing! <gasps> it's totally drawing a picture in that artwork! Ooh, that's not good. Oh no, the teacher is here! Hmm, what's going on in here? Ugh, what happened to that piece of art? That's it! Art power, go! 
Whoa, no way! Look at us! Wait, lipstick? Oops, sorry about that. I can fix it. There. <laughs> Much better. All right, we're totally ready to tackle a drawing challenge! I'll spin the wheel and see what you'll be facing. There we go. Oh, how sweet. A heart. Time to draw love. Yay! I love drawing hearts and love stuff! I know what I'm gonna do. I'll start with the word love. Hmm. Wow, that was a great day. She was so beautiful in that meadow. Okay, now to really zazz this picture up. I'll add a little heart and then turn the O into a girl. The V can be another heart, and the E can be the person she likes. So cute! But it needs more color. This heart should be pink. Good. And the little one up here should match too. Okay, now for some more colors. A purple dress. Wow! This is really turning into something special! Time to switch colors! Yellow for their hair! They match! And I think he's wearing a blue hat. Time for some green on his shirt! No, I love you the most! These colored pencils will help give them expressions. Ta-da! All right, students. Let's see your artwork, please. Uh, huh? What? Oh, no! Ew. Keep the gum in your mouth, please. Um, what are you doing? Uh, just wait. This is my artwork, I promise. I just need one more moment. Almost done. I'm done! There. Here's my artwork showing love. Phew! Whoa! How did you even do that? Amazing! Oh my goodness! That is very impressive! Hi, Marks! I'm excited to see what's next! Oh, there goes the wheel! There we go! It's landed on Flamingo! Hmm, not exactly the most dynamic. What will you do? A flamingo? I don't think I've ever seen one in real life. Are you kidding me? I don't have high hopes for this challenge. What am I gonna do? They're pink, right? I think so. No, that idea won't work either. Ugh. Ugh. I can't stand it! I don't know what to do! Wait, what the heck is all over my hand? Is that paint? Man, now I've got pink paint all over my hand too! Ugh. Hey, wait a second. I think I have an idea. Let's see what happens if I start with a handprint. Whoa! That's pretty cool! And it gives me an idea, too! I'm gonna start by tracing my hand. Now to adjust this outline. Gotta add an eye and beak. I'll color in the beak first, since it's black. And now to fill in the pink everywhere else. So much pink! I'll just keep going back and forth here with the color. It's a lot of pink for sure, but I'm getting there! Ooh, there's a pink highlighter in here. I'll need it. Time to turn my handprint into a tropical bird. I'm gonna turn my thumb into the head of the bird. There's the black beak. Now for the eyes and then the legs. There are skinny yellow legs. And I'm done! All right, class. Let's see your finished projects for Flamingo. <clears throat> Here's my picture of a flamingo. Here's mine too, ma'am. Just like you asked. I see we have a full body drawing and a head profile. You've both done an excellent job! Oh, right. You had paint all over your hand. Oh, <laughs> yes. Yeah, sorry about that. What do you think we'll get next? All right, you two. Are you ready? It looks like your selection this time is boy! I'm interested to see what you come up with. Hmm. I'm kind of bummed about this one. Not gonna lie. Huh? Oh no! I'm out of snacks! Now that's something to be bummed about. Well, now what am I gonna do? Hang on a second. I've got this empty plate now. Yep, this is totally gonna work. I've got a great plan. What are you even doing over there with that plate and marker? I don't get it. Why are you drawing on the plate like that? Don't worry about me. I know what I'm doing. Gonna just finish up my little stick man on this plate. Hmm, boy. What should I draw for that? I'll try with my words again. That seems to work well for me. Okay, there we go. Boy, now it's time to transform it. Give him some glasses and now some hair. Looking good. Can't forget your ear, though. Or his chin, nose, and mouth. All right, I've got my stick man. I think he needs a balloon, too. There. And he needs a string so the balloon doesn't fly away. Ugh. There's something in my teeth. It's obnoxious. No good. Maybe something to drink will help. Hmm. Maybe a little better, I think. I think you need some orange hair. Just a little bit more and your hair will be good to go. All right. You want a green shirt? Sure thing. I'm done! <gasps> no! 
You spilled water all over my guy. He's drowning. I have to do something to save him. No, no, no. Stickman, don't panic. Wait. Something's happening. Something's going on with my stickman. You're right. He can't drown because he floats. He's so cool. I love him. You did a great job. I win this one? No way. That's amazing. Okay, let's spin this wheel again. Aw, would you look at that! You got dog this time! I know what I'm gonna do. It's in my hat! What? A rubber chicken? Where did this come from? I know it's in here somewhere. Wait, is this what I need? Nah, I don't really play that much anymore. Come on, this hat can't be that big. <clears throat> is that a quarter? Is that what you were looking for? Oh, there's one for me too! Don't mind if I do! Phew! Who knew my hat could hold so many things? Okay, I need this pen. I don't get it. What are you doing with your coin over there? I'm using it as a tracing guide. I need a couple of circles. I don't get it. Wait, I know what to do! I hope you're all working hard over there! Okay, I'm gonna need my hoodie pulled over my head. I'll be right back. Hey there! How about I give you this and you lend me your dog? Thanks! Oh my gosh! Who's a cute little good boy? <sighs> my name is Patrick. Smile! I just need to get a couple of photos of you. You're so cute! You could be a model! Eee! Here you go! Thanks so much! Got my oval colored in except for that circle. I've added those little lines and dots. Now to draw his head. And some eyes, too. He's really starting to come together. Can't forget his ears, of course. A doggy needs his ears. And a body, too. And finally, his tail. Now to color him in. I think his ears need to be a brown color. And his feet and cheeks. Done! Phew! I made it back and no one noticed I was gone. Just gonna finish up right here. <laughs> Teacher, I'm done! Here's my picture of a dog! I'm done, too! Oh my gosh, look at that cute little angel face! You win! She didn't even draw that! We're ready for our next challenge! Oh, I love dance! Looks like you've got a ballerina! Wait, what? How are we supposed to work with that? Don't look at me, I've never even seen a ballet! Wait, I know! I'll need this paper. I can fold it in half like this. What are you doing over there, origami? That can be pretty neat. I know, but you have to make sure to fold the paper just right. I started with a center fold like this. Then again the other way. Open it up, fold down both the corners. Good. Then the bottom flap needs to come up on both sides. Yeah, this is going great so far. I love folding paper. These popped up corners need to go back down. Corners over here, too. Just a little more. Getting closer. These sides both have to fold up. There! I did it! I made a little boat out of my piece of paper! What do you think? Do you like it? There! Perfect! A pair of little paper sails for my boat! But how is it for dance? Oh, because a boat dances along the waves as it sails! Wait, what? That's seriously what you're going with? That's totally not gonna work! She's right! See? The picture is on a ballerina, not a boat. Uh, okay, fine. But I think I can still do something with origami. Are… are you just making another boat? Because again, won't work. No, it's not another boat. Look, I made a unicorn this time. Woo! You've got a unicorn! You're amazing! <laughs> Still isn't gonna count. Okay, you're right, but I've got this. Third time's the charm. I'll use two colors of paper this time. That'll help for sure. Hmm, what are you doing? Wow, this is hard. How are you doing that? You're going so fast! It's hard to keep up! Yes, I'm done! I made a beautiful rose! For you! It's so lovely! I can't believe you made this for me! But what the heck am I gonna do? <gasps> I know! I just need to start over with my folds! I'm gonna use the edge of this ruler to help keep my folds crisp. This part is a bit tricky. Gotta pop it out like this. And on the other side, too. Okay, I need to add some artwork. Just gotta draw a cute little ballerina on my paper. She's so cute! Okay, but I need to draw other parts, too. Gotta make sure she still has her face and hands here. And then do the same on the other side, too. Once I'm done up there, I need to do the same thing with her leg flaps. I think I'll give her some colors so she's prettier. But I can't forget to color it on each of the flaps. And I think I'll finish her outfit with a blue tutu! That's cute! Blue over here and blue over there! Yes! I'm finished with mine! Ta-da! Here, let me show you how it works! If I take the flaps and fold them up and down, I can make her dance! Hmm, <laughs> look at her go! So beautiful! Whoa! 
Wow! What a spectacular job! You win! Yes! I knew I would! But… Mm, so sugary. It's really inspiring my art here. What's going on over here? Oh! You know the rules, young lady. No candy! Who needs this much sugar anyway? Oh. What's wrong with this one? Care to explain? Cool, huh? What? I created it myself. Color me intrigued. What's happening in here today? What on earth? Mm-hmm. Oh! The principal! No candy allowed. Now for your punishment! No! Wait! Whoa! What is this place? Ahem. <clears throat> now that I have your attention, it's time you picked up your utensils. Oh! <laughs> it's a bird call. And your first art challenge. Hmm. Let's think. Oh, this scarf. This shouldn't be too hard for me. What? Is that what I think it is? Get out of here, you silly bird! <laughs> At least that gives me a leg up here. In fact, I have just the thing to give me that extra edge. Ugh. How did this get in there? Whatever. As I was saying… Huh? Is this some kind of cruel joke? Okay, finally! My stuff! Oh, great. Another boring book. Not helpful. Goggles? None of this stuff is useful at all. What's all this math? Like I know what any of this means. On second thought, I can use numbers to help me. Once I get the body down, I can use a few magic numbers over here. And on the head, too. It's starting to look like a bird, right? Just wait till the color comes in. You okay there, my little chickadee? I'll give you nice, beautiful feathers. With all the colors of the rainbow. It's finished! What do you think? Can you see the numbers in it? Stunning! And you? I got stuck under some bad weather. This is as far as I got. Ooh! You won this round, Annie. <laughs> Aw, yay! For me? Thanks. Mmm! 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 I can't work under these conditions. I guess I should have seen that coming. Oh! The next challenge is upon us. I've seen plenty of apples in my day. I know just where to start. And the perfect circle is key here. But where am I supposed to put the stamp? This circle takes up the whole page. <laughs> Ugh. Back to square one. Hmm. I could use a little inspo. Wait! I spy the perfect apple! Mm-hmm. She seems good and distracted. I'm going in. Mission apple impossible in full effect. I'm armed and ready. A clean, careful cut is all it takes. Huh? What is Annie doing? Knock it off! Sit down! Sorry! Ah, oh, man, I was close too! Huh. Guess I'll just draw what I know. Like the word. Apple. That's easy. P-P-L-E. Wait a minute. If I divide the word by five, or rather, an apple, I get one big step closer to my result. Okay, let's make that five a little bigger. Who knew the number could take up a whole half of an apple? You would never even know that it started out as a number. Especially not when you fill it in. With just the right blending, this thing jumps off the page. Oop, can't forget about the stem. Create a little shadowing. And a few extra little details. And this thing looks good enough to eat! Don't you agree? Ta-da! All finished! Me too. How realistic. And how… Uh, Flat. Well, this is a no-brainer. Bravo, Annie. I won! Yes! I wish I had a real apple. Me too. Ugh! So 
someone already chewed through this one! Ugh! Ha! <laughs> Luckily, mine's fresh! Oh, my sweet, sweet good boy! So handsome! In fact, why don't you two draw him? Now! Oh, it's on! And I'm a doggy expert! It's just a head, body, and four legs! But this looks a little dull, doesn't it? Ugh! Let me try this again. I think bigger's the way to go. Ugh, still bad. Hmm. Nope. Still awful. Go. Oh. Hey. Huh? What? Calm down. Hey, I think I have an idea. I can use my hand as a guide. Because once I have the outline down, I can get creative with all the details. Trust me, this is gonna turn out awesome. See? Now all that's left is some color. And this good boy is giving chocolate brown vibes. Can't forget that pink tongue! A doggy trademark! Ta-da! Like what you see? The resemblance is uncanny! And yours? Uh, Annie? What? <gasps> no drawing? That means you've won, Miss Emma. Ooh, these look delicious! Thank you! Chocolate doggies! I'm starting with this one. Looks good. Mmm, so creamy. No fear! Oh, calm down, dear. Just take one. Oh, really? Thank you. Hmm, of course. A little realism is in order. Ladies? Um… <laughs> hey! Oh, sorry about that. Is that a hand we're drawing? Okay, fine. I have a plan. Let's see. This hand could work. But this one is way better! Yet. Talk about lending a hand. All I have to do is trace this thing. I've got this round in the bag. Hey, look! One moment. Seriously? Okay. This thing's kind of fun. Actually… I know. Good girl! Huh? Annie? Huh? Well, that was odd. Got any wax in there? Huh? Knock it off, I'm trying to work here! Ugh! Wait. You know what? This may come in handy. Art is all about inspiration, not copying. And those twisted fingers got my brain going. Can't go wrong with red nails, right? This thing is really coming together. All finished! Where'd she go? Oh. Anyway. Hey. Hands up! Okay. Whoa! How'd she manage that? Mine looks so lame next to hers. Meh. Oh my word! Stunning! Who's she waving in? Just my prize is all. And wow, this one's spectacular! I'm the art queen. Jealous? Good job! Don't even think about it. Howdy, folks. Think you can draw this? Now get going! Psh! This is gonna be a piece of cake. <laughs> Pink's the name of the game this round. Oh yeah. First comes the paper cup. Bubblegum Pink's my fave. Oh, she didn't even consider sizing. I'd say that's about five inches. Hmm. And now on to the yummiest part. So good. But maybe green was the wrong choice. Oh. Yes? Is that supposed to be ice cream? Whoa! I didn't mean to draw this. You want a green, right? Amateur mistake. I say the more realistic, the better. Starting with the big, creamy scoops. Color should always come second. You create a better foundation this way. See what I mean? You can't go wrong with all the little details. 
See? Ice cream! It's written right on the cup. And now it's finally time for some color. All this ice cream is making me hungry. That's what happens when you get real with what you're drawing. Almost done. Just a few more details here. And there. I'm finished. Feast your eyes on this. Huh? Oh, let me see here. Now that's what I call a masterpiece. Here. Yeah. Whoa! It turned into a real bucket of ice cream. This may be the best prize yet. Mmm. Ugh, this is torture. I don't even like broccoli. Ugh, it tastes like a tree.